Reloading. Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick and today we're going to be talking about the Shell Caddy by Arooks Productions. Boy do I hope I'm saying that right. The Arooks Shell Caddy was designed by Arooks Productions. You can either get the files from Shellington Blasters or get physically printed ones from Arooks Production himself on Etsy. I'll have both of those linked down below in the description. The Shell Caddy is Molly or Belt compatible. This one right here is the Molly compatible one obviously. It holds eight shells and it's designed to make loading two at a time easier. As someone who's not particularly good at loading two shells in at once, I did find it to make it easier because it already has them in the position you need them to be when loading them into your Spring Thunder. The design is fairly easy to print, however there is some post-processing that you need to do. Mostly bending the upper section right here forward to make it easier when pulling them out of the shell caddy and also these two prongs right here that help put pressure on the shell helping to hold them in place and helping them to pop out of the shell caddy when you need them. When I was doing my post processing I didn't have a lighter on hand which is what he used for his so I only had a heat gun which I think is not the best choice because it gives a much wider spread to the heat giving you less control over what the heat is being applied to. So I do highly recommend following his video on how to melt the parts into place and not do what I did, which was use a heat gun. It's a very compact system as well. I honestly want to get a whole bunch of these and just run them as a belt around myself once I actually get myself a Molly belt, which I really need to do with all these Molly compatible products that I've been talking about. You also have more visibility than you would for if you were just doing what I do, which is throwing my shells in a dump pouch and just having to kind of vaguely look in, see if I'm grabbing the right shell, and then moving forward. With this, you can clearly see what you're grabbing and... They stay in rather well. I haven't had any issues with shells popping out when I'm running around firing my Spring Thunder. Overall, I don't really have any complaints. It's a useful tool for those of us who use Spring Thunders, and I will definitely be printing off a whole bunch more of these. So definitely check out the links I have down in the description below. If you guys have any thoughts on the Arooks Productions Shell Caddy, please let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, hit it a like, and uh, hey, if you want to see more from myself or those around me, absolutely hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support the channel, you can either check out my Patreon or check out my Teespring, both down in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I've been Boomstick, and I'm out. Yeah.